Well, welcome back to the channel. <coughs> Thanks for joining me today. Another little ride out. And, uh, what the hell is that? Green power. Well, that's different. It's even got the little wheels on the back there to stop you flipping the bike over when you give it the beans. <laughs> well, anyway, let's fire her up. We'll get rolling. All the old glasses are starting to steam up a little bit. Yeah, they're different. Plenty of chrome on there for you to polish up on the weekends. Lovely old job. O Olin's forks, what a look of it. <laughs> well, yeah, the main reason for the video today is, uh, it, is to discuss, really, why, why I purchased the, the CCM Spitfire 6. And, uh, have a little discussion about that. But first of all, uh, if you're new to the channel, then you won't be aware that I'll you know, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. Plenty more content coming on the channel. Uh, but yeah, just recently bought the or ordered the Moto 2 Street uh, Triple RS. So that, that yeah, I'm looking forward to us to, uh, to getting that one. But yeah, the reason why I bought this Spitfire 6 was because it's absolutely, I, 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 where do I start really to be fair? I mean, they are a bit marmite, you know, you either lo love it or you hate it sort of thing by the looks and the whole, the whole, uh, you know, the whole concept of the bike. But I'll pull over in a little while and I'll give you a little walk around to the bike and I'll, you know, show you some of the things that I absolutely love about this, this Spitfire 6. I've had the bike a few months now and uh, yeah I've racked up about well over 700 mile now so another thing I will touch on is uh, yeah there is there is no local dealership so um, it's just a factory up in Bolton here in the UK and uh, so fairly nippy nippy today here roads are a little bit greasy as well a bit of mud here and there so don't know how many more ride outs I'm going to get on this uh, this year uh, we're now into uh, sort of well into November now, so yeah, very cold. But I mean, I, I love what I love about the, the CCM, the brand. You know, the actual um, the product, if you like, is uh, the attention to detail, the uh, you know the, the quality, the fit, the finish, everything. These are these are hand built up in like I say in Bolton. So um, I have just had a service done. Uh, so obviously you have the option of, you know, taking the bike up to Bolton, which, yeah, for me, that's not really uh, an option, to be fair, or feasible anyway. So I actually had uh, one of the mobile technicians come to the house and he'd done a great job. He'd done the service on the bike. I mean, it's only, a, you know, it's not a massive service on the first service, so he's, he's drained the oil and uh, he actually replaced the, uh, the slave cylinder, the clutch slave cylinder, so a uh, little problem I had, nothing major, but I think um, he had one in the van. So he, yeah, I mean, what about that? Swap the slow cylinder over the clutch is, is, is lovely, you know, it's, it's a hydraulic clutch. So yeah, I absolutely love, I mean, the frames are all hand tip welded on these. Lots. So I will pull over in a minute, a little bit further up here. Try and warm up a little bit as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the, you know, the main reason why I bought, I bought the bike, uh, I had been looking for quite a long while. It's, uh, it's just how, how, how unique they are. They come in limited numbers. Uh, I mean, yeah, they, you know, there's lots of other models, models they do. They do. Uh, they do the bobber, which I, I quite like the look of the bobber as well. But I think with this one, with the, you know, with, the, with those exhausts, I love the exhaust on here, twin exhausts. Although well, it's a single cylinder. I mean, listen to that. I've still got the baffles in at the moment as well. And, uh, oh, ease off a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've still got the baffles in at the moment. And probably will leave them in. I'll actually do a stage one tune for this as well. So now the bike, well, the bike's run in now, so I can open it up a little bit more, but perfectly, perfectly adequate for roads like this today. Uh, and in the summer, quite looking forward to it. 
but yeah, I, I really am impressed with the, you know, it's got the Brembo discs, twin discs on the front on this model. Uh, there's an optional extra. And uh, yeah, you, yeah you, Marzocchi forks, really good braking. I mean, the rear brake is, is now actually functioning reasonably well. And uh, considering like, I could have pulled in there actually, give you a walk on around the machine, but. Sounds wonderful, absolutely wonderful. The only thing, I, there's a couple of things that I don't like about the bike, but maybe that could warrant another video, I, I don't know, but it's nothing uh, major. It's pulling here, actually. Hopefully try not to fall off on the gravel. <laughs> right. I mean, just listen to that. Let's turn her off a minute. Uh, hit the kill button. Press and hold. Oh, jump off. One thing I don't like is where the side stand is. Uh, that's a little bit awkward there. You have to, uh, you know, have to really get off the bike to, uh, yeah, to put that down. But like I say, though, I mean, look at that. Look at that, look. What an absolute beauty. I mean, they are like Marmite, so you either love them or you hate them, really. One thing I have just ordered as well is uh, some little threaded blank caps to go in here. Uh, some little M10, I think they are. Little plastic uh, threaded caps to go in there. Yeah, just to, just to sort of, you know, finish it off a little bit here and there. But, I mean, look at these welds on the frame here. Absolutely lovely. They're, they're, you know, there's such a, <coughs> you know, um, attention to detail and high quality build there. All carbon fibre here, I love. LED lighting, LED indicators. I turn the indicators on actually, there's no hazards on here, but if I turn the indicators on, they're the uh, progressive type as well, which I love. All come with the bike. Uh, no optional extra there. Uh, what else we got? Minimalistic switch gear and all that, but yeah, I mean, well, well, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. The, the headlight as well, all LED. I mean, look at that. I'm not trying not to get run over in the road. But yeah, now she's run in, I'm, uh, you know, I can give it a little bit more beans. So uh, exhaust is starting to change colour there as well, but absolutely cracking, right? Yeah, we're going to jump on and I'm going to ride a little bit more. <laughs> Side stand flicks up on its own. So there's no, uh, it's not linked to any, any cut off switch or anything like that. Start the bike up, press and hold the fire button. Lovely. Take a ride here. Try not to get squashed. But yes, yeah, you don't hang about. What I say, the bike is running now. So sorry if I'm shouting, but it's a little bit breezy. But the bike is running now, so I can go a little bit more uh, more on the gas with the beans. Let's slow down a bit through here. You could literally wake the dead up with this bike, it's so loud. And uh, yeah, hence why I'm shouting. <laughs> but, but yeah, not had any issues uh, other than the, the clutch. So um, I'd say the technician decided to put a new slate to the cylinder, like I've just said earlier. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm uh, oh, the mud in the road here. I don't want to get too much uh, mud on the tyres. I say, there's no rider weight on this bike, no traction control, not even ABS. So it's not Euro 5 compliant, hence it being the uh, the limited numbers. Uh, so yeah, not Euro 5. But here we are. That's the uh, the way these CCMs are, you know. But when you when you ring it on. Nice and responsive. When you get the revs up a little bit, you can. Uh... Oh yeah. Just puts a big smile on your face. Just a bit disappointed about these roads today, but I do live in Norfolk, here in the UK, and lots of farming going on. Lots of mud in the roads here. Might have to think, think about changing my route a little bit here.
but yeah, there's a couple of things I don't like, but I will do another video. There's a few things I don't, I'd look at this mud, I mean, this is horrendous. For us motorcyclists, I really do, uh, I really don't like that. I think the farmer should at least put a sign up in the road or whatever saying, uh, I don't know, mud in the road or sort of warning you before it's literally you're right on top of it. Anyway, I'm not, it's not a moaning video, but... <laughs> I mean, look at this here. I've even got to go on the other side of the road to avoid that. Wow. Well, yeah, thanks for joining me today. And like I said, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell, you'll be notified of all the latest uploads as they happen. Uh, I don't just do bike reviews, I do like ride outside this today and uh, various other, other um, videos on the channel. So have a look, feel free. Uh, it'd be great to have you along. Lots more content coming in the future and uh, yeah, I'm now going to uh, detour and uh, go home a different route here. Right, okay. Hopefully see you on the next video. So take care, see you soon.